what's up you guys my name is Vivian from the paper letter blog and I'm here today with some more PO box mail to show you okay so I am going to open three fat envelopes and one large package uh, in this video but first I just want to talk to you guys for a second maybe a minute maybe five minutes I don't know because I have actually We've actually been very, very busy with uh, our new house. We got the keys to our new house on the 1st of March. And the weeks before that and these past few weeks have just been crazy busy. I'm still working as well. And then we're working on the new house. We're painting, we're doing all those kind of things. We're taking out the doors, stripping them and repainting them. And oh my gosh and then we also have this current apartment which is which was a mess up until this morning because we've just been living in two houses at once and then we are in the new house all day and then we come home here at night and we just kind of want to drop everything and do nothing and then we had dishes for days i cannot even tell you we had so many dishes to be cleaned we used all of our um we used all of our plates and cups and everything i was even eating my breakfast cereal from these plastic plastic bowls that you would usually use to store stuff in because we were just too tired and too lazy to do the dishes but this morning uh, today is actually a Monday um, but we're treating it a bit like a Sunday I'm also in my pajama pants I don't think I can show you but man this is a well-deserved lazy day we did clean the house the guys did the dishes and I did the, the rest of the chores and I did also film a Croftelier haul video and I still have to edit a video for tonight but other than that it's just being lazy on the couch with noose that also explains my uh, my uh, messy look I guess but I did want to come on here and say a personal hello and a personal thank you to all of you who are supporting my channel I know I haven't been able to reply to all of the comments and messages just because we are quite busy and I am so tired but know that I read every single one of them and that I appreciate it nonetheless also um, I have been getting messages like Vivian uh, why are you not doing any happy mail videos and like I said that is simply because I don't have time to film them I did tell myself and you guys that I would still be filming the PR box opening videos just because there's so much amazing things to show you but and I also filmed the paper game video and I am going to show probably in one of these days the pip sticks envelope as well but other than that we're just gonna have to make do half of my craft supplies are in boxes and oh it's kind of crazy so please bear with me I am going to be back with videos of my own in the new craft room I cannot wait you guys know how excited I am about that um, so I have, I bribed my dad once again because the PO box is not that close. It's like a 20 minute bike ride, but the weather has been so terrible here. I did not want to go on my bike. And then it's also kind of close to these uh, Home Depot stores, which we need to be in anyway. So I bribed my dad to take me there. And then I, I picked up packages and I'm not even kidding because they emailed me like, hey Vivian, there are three packages for you waiting here. And then I also had an envelope in my two envelopes actually in my uh, PO box because the bigger envelopes, they count them as packages. So I think actually these two are packages and then this one, it didn't even fit into my PO box. That's a package. And then of course, this one is a package because that's never gonna fit in my PO box, my cute tiny mailbox that I received mail in. So I have four of these huge packages I'm going to show you guys today. I am gonna do it in one video. I promise myself this every time, but today I'm actually going to do it um, but I, I, I have to admit, I already started opening some things. I did look at some things. I did look at a letter, for example, this package from Amy. Um, everything is wrapped so nicely. It just left it like that. But I was able to pick her letter out from the package without actually opening any of the goodies. Um, because I did, you know, it's so exciting if you get all of these envelopes and then I always tell myself I'm gonna leave them closed so we can do the unboxing together, but honestly, that's hard. So I did read the letter from Amy. I read a letter, this one, I think. 
this one from, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, Rocio or Rocio? I don't know actually if it's, if you pronounce the C as a K or a C, so I'm really, an S I mean, I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I did also start opening this one, which is from Mildred. Um, you can find her under the, the handle Fat Dandelions on Instagram. Um, she is a polymer clay artist and jewelry, which sounds really, really cool. She sent me this amazing package. First of all, this is a box from Nike shoes, and I actually use the exact same boxes. I have two of them. One of them holds all sorts of sticky notes and stuff, and the other one holds my cards. So it's so funny that she sent me a decorated one. I might actually uh, reuse it to store uh, more stuff in because they're kind of convenient. But she sent me this box and after a long day of working in the house, I wanted to open it. I started opening it. I started looking at everything, but then I decided everything was wrapped so nicely. I was going to do it on camera and then first to take some pictures because I never take pictures of the mail. I am just always too excited, but today I'm going to, and then uh, we will open it with we will open it on camera together. I'm gonna turn the camera down now um, and uh, let's get started. Okay, but before I am actually going to open this, I have to do two more things. First, I have to pick a tea, of course. And then second, I have something new, which I actually find very, very smart of myself. By the way, don't mind the legs of my camera um, because otherwise I cannot show you from this uh, angle. Um, I have something new. I have a diary app, a photo diary app. I think I'm so smart. I'm actually patting myself on the shoulder right now. Like, well done, Vivian. I made, I downloaded a diary app and in that app, I'm keeping track of everyone I have replied to in the past couple of weeks. So I did not keep track of everyone yet because I'm always kind of sad, never knowing if my letter arrived or not if my reply to you guys arrived or not. So this time I actually thought I would write it down and then mention it here in the video so you guys will know something is on its way to you and then we can sort of keep track of that together. So since I downloaded this app, which was um, February 18th, ever since I downloaded this app, I've sent out replies to these people, Lena from Germany, Jody from Australia, Karen from Australia, Sam in the United States and then Prayata in India and I have one more that I am currently finishing and that one is to Donna so I will um, let you know once I've sent that out but I thought it would be kind of fun if I could tell you which one which who I have actually uh, sent a reply to and now we're gonna pick a tea Ooh, this one from Maria. It says Balkan tea, herbal tea. I don't know what is it, what the flavors are, but we're just gonna go try. And my cat is scratching the couch. What's up with you today? I'm going, you know what? I'm just gonna go from the top. We have one more from Katarina. She was afraid it didn't arrive, but it did. Oh wait, I forgot to take a picture. Okay. Have to be careful not to knock the camera off of the table but we will make this work <clears throat> just needed a picture for the thumbnail the video thumbnail i'm gonna start with this one from rocchio or rocio like i said i'm really sorry i don't know how to pronounce your name and it's this really fat package <laughs> which is wrapped so nicely there's also a new stamp i actually used this stamp when i was in uh, Malaha in Spain. I actually use this stamp myself to send some postcards to my friends. And then this one is a new one to me. It says Feliz Navidad, which means Happy New Year, which is so cool. So, okay, okay, full disclosure, I did already look at this because I was too curious to see what she put in this little accordion folder. Um, but I'm going to go through it with you guys now. Little bar. We have this pretty paper. It's a little bit damaged because of the mail, but I'm still going to use it. It's so pretty. These fun gold foiled uh, reindeer stickers, which I'm definitely going to put in my winter crafting stash. These glittery reindeer um, stickers, which I absolutely love. And they're with flowers, which is my absolute favorite. 
These are the prettiest feather stickers I've ever seen. We've got teepees and a lot of feathers, of course, and dream catchers. Such a fun and whimsical theme. So I kind of looked at it, but I didn't actually go through it yet because I wanted to save some surprise. Ooh, letter paper. I wanted to save some surpri surprise for the video. We have some vintage looking paper. I think she actually made this herself. Ooh, ah, vintage book pages. Looks like a strip comic, or a comic, I should say, a strip is Dutch. So cool. This would be really fun for making some envelopes. And then these pretty papers. Ooh, oh, fall themed. Love that. When I have my new craft room, I'm going to organize everything in different. Um, seasons and themes and oh this is so cute little apple paper this is actually my favorite so far and then this i'm really excited about this so it looks like letter writing paper but also looks like cards i think it's actually a postcard look and then you have a little postcard oh <laughs> i will figure that out or i will decorate the inside there so cute matching and then this one. Oh, that's so cute with the foiling. I love you're sending me all of these sets. That's so sweet. This one is definitely a postcard. And then this one. This one is my favorite. Look at that color. So cute. And what I love about this is that I could use it as a card like it is, or I could de decorate it a little bit more. So they're standing up a little bit, but I can definitely, if I put something heavy on them, I can easily flatten them again. And now we're going to look at this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, accordion folder. Like I said, I already did open it, but I kind of took a peek only so that I could save the actual surprise for the video. I have to tell you this, I can't lift it out entirely because her picture is here and I don't think, uh, I don't want to show like, I don't know how you guys would feel if I showed your pictures, but I always try not to because I know I would feel kind of uncomfortable if my picture was in someone else's video. It's just kind of awkward, you know, um, but I will take it out just so I can show you. It's not that I don't want you to be in my video. I just assume maybe you don't want to be in my video. So what she did, this is so cool. She made a little pocket with this half a circle out. And then as you can see, the hashtag me was sticking out. So I knew that I could tuck it back in and take it out. And then she has this little, yeah, her picture and this card that says, who am I? A little about me. I think that is so fun. And that's right into the first pocket so I can see who I'm talking to. That's actually really fun. Not a lot of pictures, not a lot of pictures, not a lot of people send me, wow. Not a lot of people send me pictures and I always think it's kind of fun to see who I'm talking with. <clears throat> then we have some tea, a vanilla caramel. Yay, I love that. And then we have, uh, ooh, these really pretty silver, is this a sticker? I think it's a sticker. Oh yeah, oh it's a really delicate sticker. Only the silver is the sticker. That's so pretty. That's really cool. So she sent me these cute frames and butterflies. <clears throat> and I, I already read her letter, like I said, because I was just too curious. It's in these pockets somewhere, I think. Or did I leave it out? Oh no, there it is. I read her letter already and she said that when she first found my channel, she was really confused. She thought to herself, oh my god, how can a person talk this much? But I guess she got used to it in the end because she, she is still following me. I know I talk a lot, that's just my thing. And oh, again, these really delicate flowers, uh, stickers, silver with all these kind of hearts. All different designs, that's so pretty. And then this is her letter, so I'm going to leave that in here, but I have to show you this. She put a wax seal on the letter and sadly I had to break it, otherwise I couldn't read it. But look how pretty her wax seal is. She mixed like gold and red, I think, and then it has this cute design and pretty colors. And she has an R for like her name, which is cool. I want to get a V for my name. And she sent me some more chai tea. Love that. I cannot wait to try that. And in here we have a washi type sample. So pretty, especially the top one with the watercolors, but the other two are also my style. 
something else in here. Ooh, oh, that's so pretty. I think that's actually the sticker that was on the washi type roll. Oh, she sent me all of them. That's so sweet. Usually you get, sometimes with the washi types, you get one of those stickers that shows you the design. You only get one of them and she actually sent me all three. That's so sweet. I always save them in my, uh, in my bullet journal. I don't know if anyone else does that. Oh, a little, a little ladybug. I actually think I have some of these, but they're a little bit bigger. That's so cute. That's perfect for spring. Thank you for reminding me I have that somewhere in my stash as well. Cute baggie with all of these pastel colored stickers. Really cute. Oh, more washi type. Like I said, I didn't actually look at this yet. Oh, I love the simple designs. That's perfect to use for collaging. So cute. And then, ooh, some heart-shaped doilies. Oh, there's, is this a different one? Oh my God, these are so cool. I don't know what it is about doilies, but they're just really, really cool. They just feel kind of fancy, you know? And then there's one last pocket. And it, I think it has some stickers. If I can get them out. I've actually, I know I make accordion folders sometimes, but I've actually never made one this big. That's really, really cool. And I can see, I can see that she didn't use the uh, tutorial I did or that I actually got from someone else and then did on my channel, but she made all of these individual coin pockets and then she glued them together in the middle. And it's so big and so cool. And in the last pocket were these die cuts. A sparkly heart and a pretty butterfly. This is actually kind of the colors of my new craft room. <laughs> That's so cool. I really like that. I really got some inspiration to make this many pockets, although I would not know if I could actually fill all of them. And this sticker on the back, it's in Dutch. It says, for this piece of mail, we've been to, to you before. So they actually tried to deliver it and they failed. And I don't really know how that works. And it's on another envelope as well. I don't really know how that works. Maybe it means that the guys from the Pierre Box company were not available or something i don't know but it's kind of annoying because i pay to have my mail delivered there and then i don't know it keeps going wrong apparently but thank you so much for this lovely lovely package i cannot wait to uh, use all of the goodies you sent me i will of course put your address and your letter on the in the to reply folder and hopefully i get to pick you for a reply there's one more thing I have to t talk to you guys about. It's not necessarily related to these letters, it's just related to letters in general. I will talk to you guys while I write her name on the T's. It's related to um, PR Box Mail in general because I get a lot of questions either in the letters themselves or in um or in a like a message on instagram asking me if i want to be your pen pal and i absolutely love that you would want to be my pen pal but i have to say as well that i i'm actually not accepting any more pen pals i know i've said this a million times but i wanted to explain that as well because a lot of times people message me or they write to me saying i think we would be a really great match we have so many things in common um i think we would be a good uh you know i think we I, I think i would be a lovely pen pal for you and it's not about that at all it's not <sighs> sometimes when i talk i forget to breathe but i just wanted to say that it's not about that at all the problem is that there are so many people i connect with there are so many people that i would be a great match with that's my problem. I currently have a lot of pen pals. I haven't been taking new pen pals for months and I still think I have too many pen pals, but I don't want to say goodbye to any of them because I like them so much. So it's not that I think that you're not a nice person or when I say no, say no to you, it's not because I don't 
think we would be a great match it's just because I have to protect myself because there are so many people on this world um, that I could be friends with and I want to be friends with and I definitely enjoy getting to know all of you through the PO box and replying to as many of you as possible through the PO box but if I would accept everyone that I like as a pen pal I think I would go crazy so I'm really really sorry I hope you guys don't take it personally um, but I like out of a principle I'm not accepting anyone anymore even if we would be soulmates that sounds kind of dramatic but it's just the way it is right now mmm that's a really nice herbal tea thank you Maria okay I'm sorry I'm talking too much again but this one next one is from Katerina you all know Katerina she has sent me mail I think three times now this is time number four first of all she sent me more of those um, exec post crossing uh, stamps. How amazing is that? I'm gonna show you up close. Sorry, look at that. How cool are they? Seriously, I wish our international stamps were nearly this cool. So, Katerina has sent me mail before. Um, yeah, like I said, three times if I'm not mistaken. I've managed to reply to her one time because I picked her name and so far I haven't picked her name the second time, but maybe now I will, Katerina. As you can see, they again say, for this piece of mail, we've been with you before. She decorated it with all of these uh, images and stamps and she wrote here decorated on your birthday live video that's so cute I actually remember her writing to me that she was decorating an envelope during my live video <laughs> and then it's she sent it to me which is really really sweet so well, can I say that I absolutely love this type I love all three of them but the sparkly catches my eye oh it's so sweet oh there's something else in here Oh man, Katarina, you're spoiling me again. Oh, little envelope. Happy Valentine's Day. That's so sweet. No one gave me a Valentine's Day gift, not even my boyfriend. You're actually the first. <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, we don't uh, celebrate Valentine's Day really as a boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh my God, there's so much in here. Happy Valentine's Day. Try it on camera. Birthday gift from me to you. P.S. It is hand, hand draw by me. Yes, the cat is noose. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. What am I gonna open first? This one that says try it on camera. I think it might be candy. Oh, it's a cookie. It looks like a chocolate cookie. And she decorated this gift bag as well. So cute. It's a cookie. I'm not actually hungry. I just had lunch. But I will try it later on in this video. Oh, it's oh, it's this looks like hazelnuts. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. Let my lunch digest a little bit, and then I will try it. Huh. And I think I read in the letter from in the note that was in the big box that there was also something edible in there. So I'm going to be full. Then I'm gonna try this little envelope. So cute! I love your decorating and all your new washi types and leaves. I have to be careful. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. That's also cool because they're different from the ones I would find on the streets here. I'm just gonna leave it in here because they're kind of small and delicate. How cute, I could use these for wax seals or put them in the happy mail journal. Oh no, I broke one. Oh, Vivian. See, it's so delicate. I did that as well, not this year I think, but last year. I also dried a lot of leaves. I wanna do that again. Okay, now birthday present first. It is a drawing. She made me a drawing again. She has these amazing drawing skills and she put a piece of cardstock behind it. Oh, because otherwise it gets bent. Look at that. It says happy mail and then she drew all the things that I love. She drew a wax seal, cacti, noose, of course, beautiful stamps, an envelope, a lot of flowers, another wax seal stamp, washi type. Katarina, this is amazing. This is all the things I've been using. That's so cool. And she signed it. That's really good. I will definitely put this up or put it in the journal. I don't know which one yet. 
because I also didn't want it to change color, but that's really cool and Nous looks perfect, especially the crown on her head. That's perfect. This is really, really cool. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put that. I already closed the box with all of the gifts I got from you guys that I wanna put up in the craft room, but I am going to try and see if I can fit it in there. I did put more of your things in there, Katarina. Also the little banner you made me and some of the other gifts. I don't even know if my craft room is going to be big enough for all of your presents. <laughs> And then this is the happy the Valentine's Day gift. This is actually Happy Meal she made an accordion folder. How cool. So I think the common theme this um, this video will be accordion folders. Oh, and she made it with uh, like newspaper, which is really smart. Newspaper paper, I should say. So clever. And then she closed it with all of these little strings. Look how cute. Does it matter which way I start? I don't think so. This one first, a little tag. It says stickers. These are all stickers for me to use. Ooh, the sparkly hearts. You know I love them. Oh, she stamped these herself. Happy mail for you. From Vivian. Mail tag. Hello, that's so cute. We can put these on outgoing mail. Okay, okay, okay. I'm talking so much, I'm actually making myself tired while this was supposed to be my relaxed day. So I'm going to show you the rest without talking. I hope that that works as well. Oh, okay, I'm immediately ruining it. What? That was a quick way to ruin it. Look, look at this. She sent me some of this. It might, okay. It might be two things. Oh! I was just thinking about that. First I thought it might be like those things you decorate vases with and then on the back it says bath. I cannot say that word bath, salt. I'm so happy with this because in the new house we're going to have a bath and I'm definitely going to enjoy a nice hot bath with this. Thank you so much Katarina. I have to wait another month and a half before our bathroom is finished but then I'm definitely going to use it. Now I'm back to quiet. hard not to talk <laughs> um, I'm going to talk you quickly through everything because that's more my style this adorable sticky note pad that hello knows that has butterflies on it I'm definitely going to use that to decorate because it's too too pretty to write on then she made me goodbye nose then she made me a very pretty little uh, bracelet that says Vivi, which is so sweet. And last but not least in this pocket were these um, chipboard cards, which have like little explanations on them. And I think I want to use them for washi type samples because they're really sturdy and nice for that. And also I love the way you decorated all of these tags. Cranberry pleasure and apple and Berries, cool, 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 cool. I think I wanna put it in the nose, can you stop? Put it in the basket like that, really cool. Thank you so much, Katarina. Something else in here. Another tag, washi tag, yay! Ooh, that one is pretty, I love all of them. And some more of the dried leaves. <clears throat> I really like the idea of sending it like this, although it also looks really cool in this baggie. The way you can see it like that is also kind of cool. Ta-da! Thank you so much for this amazing mail, Katarina. You know I appreciate it and I love everything you do. Every time you send me mail, it's completely different. And um, I cannot wait to try the bath salt and the teas and everything else. Okay. <clears throat> Now I'm going to open this package, which is from Amy. I already opened it and read the letter, but I didn't actually look at the mail itself yet. But first thing I have to say, wait, I'm gonna take out the letter so that I can do this properly. Okay, first, okay, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I will do it in a second. But first, love the cactus illustrations. That's so cute. I'm gonna cut that out and use it in the journal. And then this was her happy mail, which looks incredible already, but 
before I start, I want to take out the letter and uh, tell you guys something about the letter that she sent to me. Love this envelope, but okay, focus. So, Amy, or B, she wrote to me. I'm not going to read you the actual letter because of privacy, but she wrote to me something very, very, very cool. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay, she set up. This is amazing. She set up a charity called A Spoonful of Crafting. We supply free crafting kits to people with physical and mental health issues. You get a complete kit with everything you need to make on a project, such as a decoupage brooch, or a handmade card, or a soon Christmas decoration. You even get glue and sewing, sewing needles. We are totally funded by donations, and to date we have reached nearly 250 people with everything from depression, cancer, I don't know how to say this, but Ehlers Danlos, dementia, <coughs> heart conditions and dis disabilities. Mm -hmm. I really believe that crafting supports healing. It can bring self-confidence, help with loneliness, keep you occupied, help support healing. No, help make friends and is a great activity on your own or with friends. In case you want to have a look, we are on Facebook. Facebook. Our page is called A Spoonful of Crafting. But, but I did want to mention this in the video because I feel like I want to support your charity. I want to send as many people over to your charity as possible. I really want to urge every one of you to check out A Spoonful of Crafting. I'm going to find the links and everything and put it down below and I would like to ask you guys to help out because I am I, I actually get goosebumps again. Sometimes I'm really, really sensitive to these things, but I agree with you 100%. Crafting can be so healing, whether you are physically or mentally ill or just in a bad place for some reason. Crafting helps and the idea of you sending these little, get goosebumps again, sending these little care packages to people who cannot afford it themselves is so wonderful. I really, really think you're such a good person. And I know, first of all, I know that you didn't send me this letter so that I would do this. She did not ask me to say anything about it, but I want to do this on my own because I, I really feel like projects like yours can make such a difference in people's lives. <laughs> and I would actually, I don't know, if, it, if you have an international option, I wouldn't mind sending a package to someone in the Netherlands. Because that's really, really cool. Okay, I'm once again going to say that Amy did not ask me to say anything about this. Um, she's purely doing this out of the kindness of her heart and I wanted to support her um, in my own way. So I really hope you guys want to check out her charity and maybe help out if you can. Because I was like, I read that I read that letter after a long day of working in the new house, and it really, really touched me. So, so incredible. But okay, I'm going to park that for now. Like I said, I will mention everything in the description box down below, and then I'm going to look at the actual package because I haven't opened this yet because she wrapped it so nicely. Oh my goodness! We have a package with goodies and a package with happy. I'm gonna open this one first. It's a big pocket letter. First, the pocket letter. It's a large pocket letter. I think this might be, be Project Live or maybe, I don't know, you made this yourself. She has like four huge pockets. I want to do this now. That's really cool. Second thing I want to say is I love the putting st the straw here instead of like having the empty holes. I never know what to do with this page and I am definitely going to use your idea of putting straws in there. Then it's all cactus related, which I absolutely love. I love this little frame and I saw in the package that you gave me some, so yay, really excited. And I'm now going to uh, dig into it. Let me start in the top left. I think you put, it looks like she put goodies in the front and in the back. Like I can also see some goodies here, for example. But this one has goodies in the back and I can see ribbon and washi, that ribbon. Okay, <sighs> camera cut me off, but I was saying that I also love this message. We grow when things are tough. And then in the back, 
I can see some really cute die cuts. And then we have this paper clip with a cactus on it, which is so adorable. Another little paper clip down there and some more of those cards you made. And another a ducky paper clip. That's so cute. And then some really cute tags. And last pocket. I love this idea. I want to do this because I like a pocket letter because it's limited amount of space and I don't have to worry so much. But I also quite like the idea of having bigger pockets to decorate. And then here we have some sticky notes, a little decorated page, which I absolutely love. There's a little card in here. Oh, it's a little note in here with love from B. And there's also something on the back again. Oh, a little um, 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 a, a hair ribbon. Wow, I cannot say this, a hair ribbon. I hair tie. I actually sell these in my Etsy shop. I don't even know how to call them. And then these really cute. I, I, I have to say, I, I say I, I cannot talk. What's wrong with me today? I sell hair ties, but not this design. This is so cute. And then these little mason jar die cuts. I've actually been thinking about getting one of those little die cutting machines myself, an embossing machine. And if I would get one of those, I would definitely get a mason jar stencil as well as mushrooms and cacti. So you actually picked my favorite design. This is so cute, Amy or B. I don't know which one you prefer. I really like that. And then we also have this pack of goodies. I'm just going to open it and she put some protective uh, plastic around it which is really clever because you never know when mail gets wet nowadays some really adorable little cactus die cuts and there are this design i can see that really cute then this caught my eye immediately it's like a little it's actually multiple little um frames which i love because you can turn these into cover pages you can turn these into address labels you can turn them into um little shakers i absolutely love that one of my secret passions <laughs> and then oh there's a lot in here we have first of all these adorable tags little envelope really cute and then i think these might be cards and envelopes seriously you have absolutely spoiled me wow oh this one but first coffee a cup of tea solves everything these are so cute and they're like the perfect size size for adding a little note to a happy mail also i am losing hairs what is wrong i had a sh i took a shower this morning so probably that's why i hope i'm not actually losing my hair then we have these little handmade envelopes oh <gasps> so cute and this says tea, so I'm really excited. Again, that pretty ribbon. And these tiny paper clips. Is this old tea? Oh my God, it is. Oh my God. Oh, love that. We have lemon, ginger, and manica honey. Three mint, peppermint, and licorice, wow. And green tea. Green, mint, hmm? Flavored green mint tea. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, it smells a lot like mint. I think you're a mint lover because there's three mint teas in there. But I cannot wait to try these. And then there's a, there's more packages like really two more and this one three more. Mm, goodies. Well, just like this is not all goodies. Also, oh, you're really spoiling me. I love your handwriting, by the way. She do the little little cacti on the envelope Ooh, that's really cool she gave me more of the hand-drawn cacti oh this is so fun we have first of all little uh, forest themed stickers and then these that say handmade i could put those on flip books and all of that or I use them on my Etsy store orders. I never really sell anything, but if I do, I can let people know that everything is handmade. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I sell in my Etsy store are the hair ties, but they are handmade, so 
but I want to stop after we move I think I'm going to stop because it's just I don't know it doesn't really it's not really selling anyways and then oh cute cactus stickers how did you manage to find all of these cactus items I immediately want to make another cactus themed happy mail video I did one of those that was so fun everything was cactus themed and now you've given me enough supplies to make another one Oh, I love these. These are too pretty to actually use. So cute. Love them. I love them. I love them. There's an, a last package, which is also wrapped really, really nicely. I love all of the green. Oh no. Can I take this off? Yeah, I can. Oh, oh no. <laughs> too curious. So I'm actually tearing stuff off now. And the rest of the day, it's already like afternoon, but the rest of the day I want to be lazy, but I'm so happy I opened this. This is really brightening up my day. <gasps> no! Oh, that's so sweet. <gasps> this is perfect. Oh, wait. Oh! oh, she did send me one of the kits. So cute, the little needle threader, some needles, some thread, and some uh, safety pins. You are so sweet. But actually, can I say that this is perfect? It is a stitch your own cactus kit. And the reason why this is perfect is because I have, this is going to sound very weird, I have um, organic catnip which I want to put inside a toy for Noose because she absolutely loves organic catnip. Wait, I can show you. This is her current um, catnip toy, which we haven't used. It is a pasta bow tie that I got from a store in Canada. But as you can see, it's already, she's using it so much, it's already like falling apart. And we even have a, a little cactus shaped one, which I'm still keeping wrapped because of the smell and otherwise she will go crazy. I'm stealing all of them. And I have another pasta bow, but then I also ordered some loose catnip. So I can put that in here and then stitch it closed because I think this is also felt. That would actually be perfect. That's so sweet. Thank you so, so much. I can totally see how someone would be completely cheered up because of this package. Wow, Amy or B or Amy B or B Amy. I think you are such a kind person and I really, really wish you a lot of luck with your, um, with your charity. I'm still very full, but I am going to try a bite of the chocolate. Mm. Hey, oh, Moose is coming, yes. I was talking about catnip and chocolate and then of course she's here. It looks like a chocolate hazelnut wa waffle or wafer, how do you call those things? Mmm. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. I have to admit that as a kid, you would always have these wafer or wa wa waffle cookies. I never really liked them, to be honest, so I was a little bit afraid. But I do quite like this. Mmm. That's really nice. I'm now going to open this box. First, I need to take a picture because the sun is almost reaching the table. And when that happens, quality goes down. But this is a package from, like I said, Mildred. She's also from the Netherlands and you can find her uh, under Fat Dandelions. Um, I know she's on Instagram. I don't know if she's on YouTube, but her address is underneath here. So I'm going to leave that. She sent me this box for my birthday, but sadly the office, like the, the, what is it called? The PO box office was closed and they keep it behind the counter. And they kept it, and every time I was there, it was closed because I would go on like carnival and then they were closed and, oh, so I couldn't pick it up. So it's actually my fault that I didn't get it before now. But um, I already opened one thing. I opened this one because there was this tag on there and it said meow. And then I was like, what? I wanna know what's in there. I can show you. It's a pushing. I'm not even kidding. It's a pushing pencil holder. How adorable is this? It's so fluffy and soft. 
and it has a lot of room for markers and it's I mean it's pusheen I mean hello <laughs> I'm now going to take some pictures and then we will go unbox it together Possible to get all of this on picture it's my tape was not big enough but first of all we of course have this adorable soft fluffy pusheen I hope you can see this but it's a little pusheen it even has little little paws little fatitis little feeties adorable pusheen pencil holder I think actually a lot of stuff in here might be food because here it says calorie don't count calories don't count on the weekend and this one says Chocolate makes everything better. I don't know if this is all chocolate or if this card just says chocolate, but that's kind of funny. Uh, I'm talking so much, I'm forgetting to breathe again. There's so much stuff on here that I absolutely love. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start with the actual pocket letter. Like I said, I already read her letter, it's so sweet. This one, pocket letter. She decorated each and every one of them in like a birthday sweets theme. A little rosette it's a little bit dented because i think i put it back wrong sorry there's a lot of things here that i absolutely love these beautiful sorry my hair is here <laughs> these beautiful little um paper clips with pretty ribbon on them we have a wooden die, die cut and all of these confettis, did it? Did I? Sh did you see that? There are all like, these heart-shaped heart confettis, and it says, "You rock, be mine, be mine, true love." That's so cute. And these tiny doilies. I hope maybe they're if they are loose. Are these doilies loose? Hmm, I think they might be loose. <gasps> yes, I think they're loose. Yay! I can reuse these. They're also on the box. So cool so pretty i don't even know where to start on the back there's even more goodies for me oh it says you are loud and then some cat washi type and some book washi types and this is a, i think a little tag a little tag really cute or is it that back and then another washi type card a few quotes in here it's so pretty don't give up oh there's stickers here i didn't even see that oh ha circle stickers love it these are so pretty as well especially the flower ones really pretty i'm being spoiled okay i think i don't know i think there might be more in here but i don't want to take it apart so cute Okay, I'm going to have to put this aside, otherwise I don't have enough space. Then I already saw this, which absolutely really made me excited. I'll just take it out. And it's a photo or a card holder. And this is perfect for my new craft room. Because I'm going to be putting up a lot of your guys' happy mail, of course. And this will help with that. So we have a little cactus. Um, like a cactus... I wonder if you made this yourself actually when I'm looking at it I think I could make something like this that would be really cool a little wooden uh, block with, with cacti on it that's definitely going in the craft room and then what else this one it says Vivian and it's a little gift bag of course an envelope but she made it into a gift bag it's like I get to celebrate my birthday so many times. It's really cool. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> she gave me some of that confetti. It's so cute. I'm also going to reuse the stuff that is in the um, in the box. Yay, and some more of those paper doilies. <gasps> They're so cute. I'm gonna leave them in here for now, but thank you. A lot of vellum quotes. Don't be afraid to be great. So fun, so much stuff to craft with. I love it. Okay, and then we have sticky notes. Very, very fancy. 
don't forget really pretty and kind of chic colors then we have this notepad that says i want to tell you and then all of these things you can tick this one is for some of my uh, previous penthouse please don't ghost me because i just left <laughs> no I'm, and that's kind of um that's kind of dramatic but uh this is really cute memo block and i can circle which one i want to do i want to tell you you rock <laughs> that's so cute oh my god so many goodies and this i think this one was is a birthday card yes i already did open this because this one was also right at the top and at first i didn't realize her letter was at the bottom of the box like the literal bottom so it could just flip the box over and then there was the letter <laughs> so this is a very pretty birthday card for me i'm not going to uh show you the inside of course but puffy letters yes please what else okay this i want to look at this it says thank you for enjoying paper like i do here are some origami paper sheeps sheets not sheeps vivian meal tricks <gasps> i love oh my god you know i love paper oh there's so many i'm gonna go through them and probably speed through it oh you gave me some some extra of these, these are so pretty. Oh, so many. I absolutely love this. I will probably use them for envelopes because that's my favorite thing to make. But I could also use these for decorating or making anything else. And there are also a couple of little origami examples on the back. I have to try that. I don't actually know. I never actually do origami, but that would be a really, really cool idea. Look how much she spoiled me. I'm already, I'm not even halfway through. I'm now actually going to open the other packages. Like I said in the beginning, this pencil case was also wrapped really cutely, but then it said meow, so I really wanted to know what was in there. So I already opened that. Okay, which one first? Um, the chocolate one, I'm just too excited. I don't know what is in here. I wonder if it's actually chocolate. Oh, I don't even know what size the twine and everything. That's just so cute about the left. I think she actually stamped the paper herself with the free stamps that was no <laughs> that is way too fancy oh my god i remember these i always know my my grandparents always used to have these little boxes and we were never allowed to touch them and then we, when they weren't in the room sometimes we would steal one this is such a fancy chocolate brand and also the first thing that comes to mind first of all of course the chocolate i love it but also this box i'm definitely keeping it it's it's just a chocolate box but look how sturdy that is and how pretty that is i'm definitely going to save this i think i speak for all of us crafty ladies when i say that this makes me excited not just for the chocolate but for the packaging <laughs> Oh my god, Mildred, thank you so much. This is really special. And, oh, wait, I don't know. <laughs> okay, next one. I, I want to open this one as well. Calories don't count on the weekend. I know it's a Monday, but to me, today is the weekend. So we'll just have to see. What's this? Uh oh. Oh no, I'm tearing it. Oh no, what am I doing? Is this what I think it is? No, it's actually, oh my god. Oh, mini Oreos. S oh no, you know me too well. This is actually, this is too tempting. <laughs> I'm gonna bring these to the new house so that we can reward ourselves <laughs> with some, a little snack. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> I want to say that I absolutely love this, but I don't want to emphasize it too much because <laughs> I'm going to get fat. This one says, as promised, but not a great quality, but try it. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious what this is. Oh yeah, and so in her letter it said, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Wax seal stamp, wax seal glue, uh, wax seal 
I cannot see, I should do this silently. Sealing wax, that's so cool. I've never actually had the blue one. I did get, I think the, this one from Seher and the golden one I've seen as well. It's so pretty and it has like a real subtle sparkle in it. But that's really, really cool. But not a great quality. Really, I think they're quite good, right? They're from Hema. And a lot of people tell me that they have wax seal supplies but i never see them i think that's why she sent me some that's so cute what a lovely lovely gift that came out really weird gift oh my god mildred you're really spoiling me i'm going to try this open this one last i think this is actually i think this might actually be a box i have as well it's if I'm correct, this box is from Hema as well, and I bought sticky notes, and they were in an, exactly the same box, and I still have that box, and I, I'm glad I kept it, because this is perfect for wrapping up little goodies. What a cute idea. And I can see in here, she put some of the prettiest stickers, and they still have the protective film behind it, which is great, because I, were, I was going to reuse them anyway. How pretty are they? And all of her mail, like even the box, the outside of the box, it had such cute washi type on it. Like this one, it says, believe in yourself. And then on the box, it says, a few of my favorite things and pretty, pretty things inside. So cute. I'm going to reuse this box as well, if that's okay with you. And then these stickers, I love these. So pretty. I really think it's clever that you put some protective stuff behind it because I think they, these might be from a bigger sheet. Unbelievable. Oh, a little. Oh my god. <gasps> Mildred. Oh no, you didn't. Okay, I think this video is going to be so much longer than I wanted it to be because I already used up two battery packs, but I was just looking at this incredible box of happiness first of all we have this beautiful washi type that oh oops i tore it it has gold foiled letters on it it says home sweet harm holiday harm home sweet holiday harm that's so cute and i love the blue white and blue watercolor design it's so pretty i really can't Oh my god, I want to say, like, a part of me wants to say I cannot accept this, like, I want to send it back because I cannot accept all of this, but another part is already too excited to start crafting with all of this. Then we have this one, which is a gold foiled washi type. Always a good idea. This one, I've seen this design before, but I've never actually had this. Very pretty, um pink with black images on it oh my god i'm actually still full from my lunch but i want to eat all of this and finish the cookie that i got from katarina oh little cacti in pots this is so sweet <gasps> that's cute i'm gonna share that with a lot of you guys because there's so much on this roll little cacti in pots that's so cute that's really really cute more cacti i really have enough to make a lot of cacti themed um cacti themed mail again wow i cannot talk this one also very huge and then this one i recognize this one i think she also used that to to, to wrap everything with but this one is from what is it called again? It was it this for Dazzle? I don't know. It's actually a Dutch brand. They did three, three washi type designs and they sell, sold it at Hema. And I have that set. But this one, of course, with the pink hearts, with the pink and the gold foiled hearts, is my favorite. So it's really good that you sent me another one because I am going to finish it. And then, oh, is this a cat washi type? A masking tape. I never know if there's a difference between masking tape and washi tape, but oh, look at that. All of these little cat heads. Oh, they're so adorable. I'm going to send samples to all of my cat loving friends as well. 
and then these white gel pen I actually got one of these from Roxanne in the mail one time I've been using them ever since I also bought some myself because they're such good quality like I buy I have bought a lot of white gel gel pens over the past months and this is actually the only one I would recommend so Mildred you are really a lifesaver because I go out very quickly it's called a couache pen I don't know I just looked at Aliexpress and then I uh, ordered I, I wrote like white jelly roll wait look can I show you Later. okay this is getting annoying the batteries are dying too quickly but I was talking about the jelly rolls and look how um, how do you call that again how pigmented they are I learned that from makeup I hope it's the same in jelly rolls but look how well you can actually see that on that blue sticky type sticky note so I would definitely recommend these thank you so much I don't actually think they have like a brand but if you type in like jelly roll white jelly pen at Aliexpress look for the one that says flowers on the front really really good and then all of these cute sticky notes some heart shaped ones that will be perfect for making meal look how cute and then this one in a little leaf design that's perfect i love it when things are like both functional and pretty so you can also use them to decorate and these little sticky notes i think these are from hema and the only reason why i think that is because of the size of it because i also have a couple of those boxes these boxes with different um different and then look i don't know i cannot probably cannot show you but then the entire box is filled with the sticky notes like that i also have one of these but not these designs so that's really cute thank you thank you thank you thank you and last but not least we have a sticker sheet oh, that's so cute little dots to decorate wow i think i actually got it all although i cannot believe how much is in here I'm going to share so much of these washi types with a lot of you guys because I know you probably will like them as well especially the Dutch ones this one is Dutch I think that's really cool because it's like original and you cannot get it on many in many other countries probably I cannot talk I really need to take more rest on this day off because I have to work at least two days a week at least two days this week which is not good and we're also i have therapy one day and then we're doing redoing the house on the other days so i need to rest i need to rest but wow i'm really happy i opened all of this because it brought me so much joy first of all the oreos yes please these are going with me to the new house these are probably going with me to the new house and will be hidden in the craft room because i'm not going to share <laughs> this is so fancy Oh my goodness and then all the other stuff all the other stuff wow Mildred you really really spoiled me I don't even know how to say thank you anymore and you guys for watching because I know this video is going to be very long even though I promised myself I would make it quick but wow I think it was worth it in the end let me know how you guys are doing. Um, by the way, I made a Kofi page, which is basically a, a website where you can support um, people <laughs> by buying them a coffee or anything else. In my case, they might be used for stamps or something like new camera batteries. But uh, if you wanna consider supporting me on there, that would be really very much appreciated. Although I would never ask you guys to do so it's just a suggestion basically but okay i'm going to stop here because wow i cannot talk i'm going to enjoy all of my goodies i definitely feel like a birthday girl again <laughs> um, which is very very nice um thank you all for watching for supporting me for staying by my side for sending me amazing mail and um i hope you have an amazing day i'll see you in the next one bye bye